Yeah. For this, I shall be trying to present very briefly the way we are teaching digital archaeology at the University of Tours, where we actually use the word archaeometric. I'll come back to that uh, very soon. Uh, first of all, perhaps I should make clear that in Tours, University, unlike most French universities, archaeology is connected with history. So we belong to a department of history and archaeology in which students uh, can follow in the first years only two classes of archaeology and then they can choose to, to read only archaeology only in the third year. But for the moment, I shall mainly insist on the master degree. But so just perhaps it's useful to be aware that they will have read. Um, only archaeology, only in their third year. Um, so we've been teaching archaeology in Tours since 1988. The, the, as everywhere else, I suppose uh, the main two bases of our um, teaching is uh, fieldwork and methodology. We insist on having a very close relationship between the training and the research unit to which we all the archaeologists belong uh, at Tours University, which is Laboratoire Archaeologie et Territoire which was uh, created uh, in the uh, early 90s, in fact, a few years after the beginning of the course. Um, our professional targets are preventive archaeology and research, and there is always a very close connection between, between the two. Um, last September, our course um, took a very important turn because we changed the structure in which the course uh, is uh, organized. We joined a new master degree, uh, which is called um, uh, within an école supérieure en intelligence des patrimoines. In fact, this structure uh, puts together two different master degrees. One in, entitled um, Histoire, Civilisation, Patrimoine, so History, Civilization, and Heritage, and the other one uh, entitled um, Digital, Digital, uh, no, sorry, uh, Digital Humanities. And so uh, the first master um, corresponds to the blocks in uh, sort of yellow. So four different um, courses uh, are, um, are offered to students. Uh, either, uh, firstly, a course in uh, heritage, uh, Renaissance studies, food studies, and our uh, master archaeology and digital archaeology, so, um, uh, which I'm going to talk more about now. And the for uh, digital um, uh, humanities, there are two different um, uh, courses. So this uh, this new structure, uh, which started to to operate only last September, uh, would like to evolve and to be able to offer next year or soon afterwards uh, postmaster um, formation, so that students may improve some aspect of their knowledge. Uh, in the field of heritage uh, altogether. So um, our main purpose is to train students uh, to practice archaeology uh, with, uh, and to, be, to make them familiar with our current issues. Um, so we, that's why we, it's so important to associate our teaching and, and research so that uh, we can teach them what we've been experiencing in our own research. So we understand the word archaeometric as um, uh, a sort of synonym of archaeological information science, the way Marcus Lovera uh, used it. So the general structure of the, of the master degree is based on three main blocks of, of teaching. Uh, there is a common core, which uh, deals mainly with digital humanities in an original way, thematic teaching and digital archaeology. Uh, the thematic teaching itself is divided into two modules and they are followed both by students in their first and second year. And so there are two main modules and you can see the way they are divided into three courses each. So I won't read the details that you can see uh, by yourself. Um, the acromatic uh, section is based on four modules and again you can see the, the different aspects which are taught, uh, which are very, of course, similar to what we've just seen in other universities. <coughs> so, um, altogether, it's quite a large number of, of hours, and including GIS, uh, databases, uh, different ways of architectural surveys, statistics, and, of course, a progression between 
the first semester and, and, the, and the last semester. So for these courses, obviously, uh, students uh, are divided between first and the bond year because uh, is, they, they can't follow the same course at the same time. And um, we, as for the future of our students, which is something quite important for us, like for everybody, I suppose, for some of them, a very limited number of them, will go on doing a PhD uh, in archaeology. So they, they, join, they, can, they can join our research team, um, they apply for a grant, and if they get it, they can join the research team to do a PhD in archaeology. And we offer subjects, of course, which uh, include uh, digital uh, archaeology. And, but some, some of them, um, most of them, in fact, leave university after getting their master's degree and they try to join preventive archaeology. And I say they try because at the moment, in the last 10 years or so, since 2008 financial crisis, the situation has been much worse than before. And so it's not so easy for them now to get a permanent job. And oftentimes, most of them, they have to accumulate a large number of short term contracts before they can actually get a proper job, either in, in HAP, which is the National uh, Institution of Preventive Archaeology, or in local or regional article units, or now, of course, in private companies which are um, developing. Um, we are hoping that the fact that our uh, master degree in digital archaeology has joined this larger structure will offer our students, will give our students more opportunities to work in other fields which are more connected with heritage questions. You know, historical or actual heritage, like uh, some of them are very much interested in 3D reconstruction, for instance. And as you know, there is a, a large need for that kind of skills. And so um, some of them now should get jobs in that direction uh, rather than uh, working on as field, uh, as field archaeologists. And uh, finally, what are our main difficulties? Um, we try to think about it with Xavier, and um, we think one, one difficulty, or the first one, is the fact that our students have a very different academic uh, background when they join our master degree, because some have done their third year in two, some haven't, and that makes a, a big difference, um, because in two, or two universities, probably the, one of the very few universities in France where students can be um, are taught in the digital archaeology uh, as early as their third year. Um, so there is a large diversity of disciplinary origin of students. Some of them have read history or uh, art history, so they have different backgrounds. And um, the, we suffer also from the fact that there are, in fact, too many universities offering similar um, courses or courses, a uh, master degree in archaeology or together, which means that the number of students is uh, dispersed in too many different uh, places. And so we would like very much to be able to develop uh, more strongly a European cooperation to in enlarge our perspective so that we could uh, offer in two things which can't be offered everywhere. Uh, and that would in involve, for instance, um, being able to send our master students to spend uh, a semester abroad in a more systematic way. At the moment, some of them do it within the Erasmus program, but that's a limited number of them who do it. And uh, we would very much uh, like to develop uh, stronger links with some of your universities to make a network through Europe, and I think that we, we will discuss that more deeply this afternoon. Thank you very much.